Entertainment we had, well, Grandma Katie took me to uh, the Grand Theater in Washington, which is now the Grand Theater Complex, where they have, uh, it's kind of like the uh, Midwest, uh, Air, uh, yeah, Midwest Airline Center down here, downtown, the convention center. They've turned it into a convention center, and there's a picture that I picked off of the uh, internet showing from Scott Street, and I forget what the heck the other, other street is, but from Scott Street south to the next corner, they've taken over that whole, uh, that whole complex. And that's right across the street from the Elk Club in Wausau. <laughs> anyway, uh, Grandma took me to Grand, the Grand Theater, I think 1928, 1929, Steamboat Willie with Mickey Mouse and sound. It was one of the first sound pictures other than Al Jolson and uh, the uh, jazz singer. And uh, that I just barely, barely remember because she kept reminding me that we'd gone to the theater. And uh, it wasn't that far away from where they lived. They were about uh, maybe four or five blocks away from the theater so we could walk over there and back, which we did. <coughs> And your big entertainment there was either the Wassa Theater, which was over on 3rd Street, or the Grand Theater, which was on, over on 4th Street, and about a block and a half away from each other. 10 cents, took you into the movie. 5 cents, get your bucket of popcorn. And uh, then, naturally, the, the candies, the uh, uh, milk duds, and uh, juices, uh, all, you could buy those in the theater if you went. As we got older, that uh, that was our uh, main entertainment for the week, and uh, the price went up, I think, then eventually to 25 cents. But uh, there you got the, the cartoon, you got the newsreel, you got the, uh, uh, possibly a double feature. And uh, for Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland in, uh, I forget what their series was, but... Uh, was it Hardy Boys? Nancy Drew or Hardy Boys? It wasn't that, was it? No, no, uh, this was uh, Andy, Andy Hart, no. Anyway, uh, that was one of the staples in the Tom Mix and the Gene Autry, boy. But the, uh, the B-rated film, uh, which was uh, Vincent Price and the... Uh, and this was later on, but they ran through the uh, Bijou Theater, which was down on 4th Street. No, 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 that's wrong. Uh, on Scott Street, going, uh, the Wasser Hotel sat on the corner of 3rd and, Sc and uh, Scott Street. Go down about a block and a half, there was the Bijou Theater, and uh, that was always the cheapest one. We never went there, though. We either wound up at the Grand Theater because of the type of movie. So then uh, the newsreels, though, uh, really took the place of your news forecast on TV. And you could see what was coming uh, in the late 30s with uh, Hitler and Mussolini and what was going on in Europe there. It was war coming. So, now let's see, we better back up because I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs>